received this DZS 12 amp DC to DC voltage regulator. It's something I've been waiting for for a while now to put in a homemade bench top power supply I made. I used a LM2596 while I was waiting for this. I got it. It's a while now since I've received it and I decide now to make just a review. I won't be connecting it or anything. In the next video, I'll be connecting and going through what plans I have for it. This is the gadget. It's a 12 amp DC step down buck computer. The input voltage is 4.5 to 30 volts, which means you, you can put 4.5 to 30 volts in it. And the output voltage is uh, from 8 volts to 30 volts. Whatever project you're working on, if you need a particular voltage, you can use this. I haven't really tested it out as yet, but I assume that would be better than the LM2596 which doesn't have a heat sink you have to put your own heat sink onto it this has two heat sinks five capacitors three on the output side two on the input side this is the input side it's written in this is the plus sign to connect it you don't have anything to solder you just unscrew and push your wires here it has a built-in fuse and a adjustable port on the output side, it has the same connector and a LED indicator. It also has a place to connect a fan. It has the two holes to connect the fan to it. At the back of the unit, you have the components which i'll put everything in the description below it also has some space here that you could connect some other things to this symbol looks like a diode um ovp i don't know what that means and PWM in I don't know what that means either so you could put the extra components here if you looking for some form of protection this is the hole for the fan you push your wire or a uh, uh, pin through here to connect your fan 
at the back there are three little spots which mark V in and V out that's for your fan you to connect the fan you must it has these three spots the center spot must be connected if you just put your fan into here and expect it to work it won't work you have to either jump put a wire in the center and either connect it to the left side or the right side but it has to be connected for your fan to work it depends on what voltage you would be putting into it it has four screws to hold the heat sink on four holes when you experimenting with this or connecting it make sure that whatever you put it down on is cleaner because it has no protection at the back so if you put some power into it and you have some metal below there you would lose your converter buck converter the fan i have a fan that's from a computer the fan i would be placed in it right here and connecting down here now since this would be in an enclosure what i'm planning of doing is on soldering the led and put a longer wire on soldering the fuse place it in it somewhere else and the port this is an adjustable port for your voltage i'll be on soldering this also and put another port on the component I would either put some prospect underneath here or design something that it would float inside the casing this is it for now <clears throat> If you find the video was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll put a link in the description to this. If you purchase from me, I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thank you. Until the next one.